Hey guys, so a few things before I start. One, my hair is wet and messed up because I just took a shower. Um, two, uh, I apologize for my room being messy. I still haven't cleaned it yet. And three, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. So today we're going to be going over <coughs> my tackle box, my fishing tackle box. Um, so let me see if I can move this a little closer. Oh, uh, there you go. That's better. So this right here is an ugly stick tackle box. Um, I don't know what kind of tackle box it is. All I know is it has four things. As you can see, it's a, it says ugly stick right there on the front. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go over. I'm going to go sort of from front to the sides and then what's in my boxes. So first thing on the front you'll notice is these yellow fishing pliers. Um, which this little pouch came with it. I did not buy this pouch separately. This bag also cost like $30, which for how much it offers, it actually is pretty cheap. Um, and it's got four boxes. It comes with four boxes. Um, there you go. But yeah, so these are just little Bass Pro Shop yellow spring-loaded pliers. They've got a line clipper right here. You can use these to grab fish. So, yeah, and I just... Whenever I saw this, I got these for Christmas, and I was like, dang it, I really don't have a place for to hold these. Whenever I saw this bag, um, whenever I got this bag for Christmas, or no, I didn't get this for Christmas. I bought it at Academy with a gift, with a, like a $40 gift card, along with a few other things at Academy, um, from a gift card that I got for Christmas. So, yeah, and as soon as I saw this plier holder and how much it was and the price, I was like, yeah, I'm sold. So, that was pretty cool. Um, so, you got that. And then, whenever you unbuckle these, you get quite a few pouches. Um, there's one right here, which if you unzip it, it has some other fishing things. It has some fishing line, some six-pound tests, some yellow thread, and it's got some forceps in there. So, basically, a few fishing tools. Um... Some other things I use the thread to tie chicken liver if I'm using chicken liver ever, which I do sometimes. Um, next up, next in this pouch, this is new things that I haven't unboxed, and also it has this little. Here, let me take the pliers out of the case. Hang on. There we go. Um. Okay. So. Yeah. <clears throat> This is as far as the pocket will zip down. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's some pouches. And then right here, I don't know if you see it, but there's yellow thread. This leads to, uh-oh, it got wrapped. Some nail clippers that I got. Some really nice, like, they look like nail clippers, but they're actually for cutting fishing line. Um, my dad has a pair like this, and I really like these, so. And um, he told my relatives, hey, you should get this for Garrett for Christmas. Because he really, because he really wants something like this, and so that's how half of this stuff came along. I'm just gonna get it in there. But this is basically the lures. If I go shopping, and I have lures that I haven't um, taken out of the package yet, I just throw them in here. Like right here, I have a little, um, I have a little Woden's rooster tail or Worden's rooster tail, something like that. So yeah, that's cool. Next up, you have. Next up. We have um, this right here, which whenever you unzip this, oh yeah, I forgot the sides. Um, sorry, I forgot about the sides. So on this side, um, I have a box that says sinkers on it, but this is basically, if I have extra weights, I'm gonna put them in here, so that's why it says sinkers. I used to have sinkers in there. Next up, I have um, two pocket knives. This one is basically the same as my dad's pocket knife. These are, both of these are Gerber pocket knives. I don't know what kind they are, but they came in a pack of three, and I don't have the third one with me because that's actually my good knife, and it's somewhere else. Um, but here's this knife. This one is, this one's actually kind of hard to open, but there's this pocket knife, which is a pretty good one. This is basically the same as my dad's. He has a Gerber pocket knife. And let me just close it back up. Okay, I'm going to put it back up there. And then I next up I have one of my favorites, which this is this is my second favorite. This is my least favorite because of how hard it is to close. But next up we have this one, which is pretty cool. 
and they all have they all three have clips so that's nice um but they and they all close the same there's this little thingy right there which is locking the knife you lift it up you lift it up you know you push it in and then you lift up the blade and you close it so that's cool i guess so and then what's in these little pouches and then in this pouch there is just literally there's just this is just bobbers like all kinds of bobbers and <clears throat> some of these bobbers i don't even use i'm saying bobbers too much but i don't care um next up is this back pouch which this just has other things like i have a bath box but i do not have room to fit an old buzz bait without a skirt on it like a buzz bait like frame i guess you could say it's a little bent but i don't care um but yeah you put the skirt down on there i don't have a skirt right now but Yeah, this is a top water. Um, and then I have... Why on earth do I have a candy cane in there? I have a candy cane in there for some reason. Um, but yeah. Next up, I have... I got an RC boat for Christmas, and it came with this fishing line. So I just didn't have anywhere to put that, so I put it in there. And then this is the bag with all the extra doors for my tackle box. <clears throat> and, it also, and this also has a sinker in it. But I just I haven't put it in there yet. I will in a minute. Hang on. Let me take that out. Let me actually put it in there. Um, <clears throat> oh, that's one of my 3 8 ounce sinkers. That's one of my nice ones. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to shove all this back in there. Okay. Next side, I have a little fishing scale. Now, this is a mini. This is like a Rapala mini um, fishing scale. Um... And you can have, this goes up to 25 pounds. You just hold the on button for like three seconds or something like that, three, four seconds. And then I can weigh stuff. So it's a digital scale, which is why I like this one better than my old one. My old one was a, yeah, there's like the little dropping thingy. I had a spring in it. It was a really old one. But I was like 10, 15 years old. So whenever I do this, if I can show you guys, like right there, it says nine something or like, Right there, it says three pounds something, seven pounds. But yeah, you, it's really fun to play around with these, actually. So, you can just hold it to turn it off. And, yeah. And on this side, all I have in there is a mini tackle box. Like, a really mini tackle box if I'm just, like, going crappie fishing and I don't want to bring this whole big thing with me. But this bag isn't very big, so I really don't have any issues with transporting it or carrying it, too. My other box didn't have, like, a pouch or anything. So, in here is just a little mini, um, nine-door thing or something like that. No. Ten, uh, twelve-door tackle box. And what you do is you lift this right there, and you open it up, and you get some miniature doors. So, I put, usually I put, like, crappie jigs and small panfish things in there, and you get to close it up like that. Um... Okay, so now let's go up here. So, <clears throat> do you have a right here? Is a, there's a little pouch where the ugly stick logo is, but I don't carry anything. I usually have a flashlight in there, but I don't know where my flashlight is. Um, okay, so now on to the boxes. Wait, I forgot. No, I'm just kidding. This is for real now. Um, so, the, I have one of these boxes. Is, this is an empty box, which I'm going to put soft plastics in once I get some. I have some on the way, but they're not here yet. This bottom box is all terminal tackle, like bobbers, just regular hooks, jig heads. And I do have some rooster tails in here, but I just didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I just stuck them in here. But this is basically all my terminal tackle. like. So let me just open this up really carefully. And... Um, be on our way here in a minute um yeah the weights there's little weights that keep getting everywhere so that's cool i guess little yeah there's little weights all over this but do i care no not really um okay these are sliding out 
some of these hooks are either rusted or has some sort of corrosion or something going on like that mm -hmm. ouch okay um okay there we go now that's better okay so in here uh whoops so in here i have let me actually turn on the light real quick uh-oh so i turned on the light so you can see things better the a lot of these hooks are rusted because my tackle box fell in the water one time but i did retrieve it because it floated there's little weights like little gray balls in there those are weights just don't mind them i have some dough bait hooks because i use dough bait for catfish in small ponds sometimes um my I know everybody hates it but i'm i've used it so much i'm used to the smell of it and everybody else in my family hates it, it smells like roadkill um <clears throat> okay so in here i have got swivels these are like bass hooks or just like any standard j hooks these are circle hooks um panfish hooks and then these are the sort of treble hooks there's really tiny ones which are like a number i don't know nine or something like that and then there's a bunch of number six treble hooks right here i have some bobbers which some of these are broken then i have a stringer for like trout or fish just any fish then i have dumb look that's the wrong one then i have little weights i have all my jig heads right here um these are my rooster tail thingies hang on oh no never mind um these are all my rooster tails and my other stuff and then these are just um slip bobbers so yeah and i need to put this this three out i don't have any of these anymore so i have only that one so and these doors are actually really nice and latch these actually doors actually latch really well okay so that box is down next box this is all my bass stuff that i have right now i do have soft plastics but i don't have enough of them to fill an entire box um and also this hooks wouldn't this hook wouldn't fit in my box so i just stuck it in there so let's start how my neck hurts right now so that's cool i guess let's start off with the first bait in here i'm thirsty right now but <clears throat> i'm not gonna go down and get a drink this is a kvd or no this is a some sort of this is a square bell crankbait and it's in a bluegill color and there's a lot of bluegill in the lake i fish so it's in like a bluegill sort of color i guess or a minnow color or something like that but yeah it looks really realistic works really well next up is this i have no idea what the name of this is this is just a giant crankbait i have um i don't know you guys are probably going to comment in the description my well my crankbait is three times the size of that and i use it to fish for whales and stuff okay um yeah so that's cool i guess but next up is my is my one and only tar um prop bait um, this is a headin. This is a headin or heaton tiny torpedo, and I just got hooked right there. Ouch! Okay, ouch! That kind of hurt. But yeah, um, if you don't know what prop baits are, they're basically a top water. Um, but yeah. Okay, so then here I have different spinner baits. This is a top water frog. This is a H two O Express top water frog. It's it works really well. It, it actually it's actually like. It is an amazing frog. I've caught, like, so many. I've caught more bass than I can count on this frog. It's because I bass fish in small ponds, and small ponds have quite a bit of frogs. So, that's cool. In here is just a little soft plastic hook. And a bunch of assorted soft plastics, like. Um, but my favorite soft plastics in here. Boom. Gene Luru salt, salt Cross. I love these baits to death. Literally, because I use them until one of the tails is ripped off or something next up oh next up i have all my rattle traps i have two orange ones which are like berkeley original rattle trap something or other and then this one is actually a special rattle trap that i've only used like once um this is a rattle trap by i don't know if you can you can't see it very well but it's there's a p right there and it's a progressive rattle trap from progressive that my dad got or that my, no, my dad's friend gave me. Next up, I, I don't ever use spoons, so this spoon is really beat up. But this is an old spoon I have. Um, yeah. Cool. And then up next are these, is there, there are these medium-sized, um, baits. These little crank baits. I have a wiggle wart, and then 
like a Bomber 4A uh, crawdad crankbait thingy. D deep diving, I think. Well, actually, no. This is a deep diving crankbait because the bill is pretty big. Um, I don't really have any super deep diving ones. These are my small crankbaits. This is another square bill that I have. I don't know what kind it is. There's just another square bill. Um, and then this is really tiny crankbait, which I don't even use it, but I still have it, so I put it in there. So I don't like getting rid of lures. Um, next up is the empty box, and then in here is literally just crappie jigs. Now, I don't have a lot of room, and I don't want to fill this with just crappie jigs, because it'll only be like two little boxes. This I didn't even take any doors out of, except for this one. Um, so I have these little yellow grubs right there and then i have these i have a lot of tube jigs in here because well i didn't buy any of these crappie jigs except for these because i didn't really have any left because they kind of got used up um yep yeah. and then there's also like different there's also different types of crappie jigs there's like these i actually don't use crappie jigs i mean to use them for crappie but a lot of the time i actually catch bass on them so I use the big crappie jigs like these and I use purple and I use I use big swirl tail grubs or swimming tail grub thingies like something like this I actually use them to catch bass sometimes because they actually work really well they catch small ones but whatever um next up is these little yellow grubs that I have they're sparkly and then these are all my hell of a jigs these are really small tube jigs um and yeah they're so they're basically really tiny tube jigs and they're called hell of a jigs um and then there's also this little bobby garland um minnow minder dang it dropped it and this wouldn't fit anywhere else so i just stuck it in there now these are sassy shad and minnow color because i do love using minnow colors um so these are little sassy shad i do actually have a lot of sassy shad so Next up are these little, like, ugly looking grubs. That they're tube jigs, I think. Yeah, they're tube jigs. Um, next up is just more tube jigs. There's a green tube jig in there. <coughs> <coughs> and then there's another one. Um, now this is my other. These are like other things. These are like mainly green and white and stuff. But these little grubs I hardly even use because they're so hard and solidified. So I don't even use them. Um, what is this? Oh, this is... These are actually my one of my favorite crappie grubs. Um, actually. They're yellow and they have green sparkle a swirl on them. And then I have these which mimic little tiny fish. And I use these for green sunfish in small ponds. I use these for green sunfish, actually. Um, sometimes they catch crappie on accident, but whatever. Then I have another minnow minder in black. And then I have my all-time favorite. I know I said the yellow and green was my all-time favorite. But this is actually my all-time favorite crappie jig of all time. This is a Bobby Garland minnow minder. I love those crappie jigs. This is in the silverfish color. I use it with a red, with a green and red jig head. It works amazing. And sorry that my disgusting toenails on the floor. I'm just gonna move the camera now. Um, this goes in there. Um, they're not. Then next, I have these yellow like crawdad looking things. I guess I have these yellow tube jigs. More tube jigs. Um, more tube jigs. These are like basically a big version of the hell of a jig things. They're very squishy. You have to use a certain kind of hook with them. I have more tube jigs. I have probably too many tube jigs. I have a jig head on that one because I used it last. Then I have yellow sassy shad in small color. Blue and yellow and blue like white. <clears throat> a blue and white slash yellow mix. Um, And then I have these orange crappie jigs that I got last month. I don't know what kind they are. But yeah. So that is actually all I have in my tackle box right now. I, I need to get more stuff. I really don't have a lot of stuff in my pouch tackle box. But, yeah, that's really all I have right now. So, thanks for watching, and um, bye, I guess.